Teague here. I'm going to walk through the new importer and how it works. So let me just start over. So how it starts is you, you're in this position where you can choose to import from mobile scanner or import from CSV export. Uh, you can do this from your phone too because this is mobile responsive. But I'm going to show off the import mobile scanner mode. So you click that. And then there's this box. Uh, I already have an example and both TCG player and Delver Lens can export in this mode. Delver Lens, you actually choose the Echo MTG export and it'll give you this and send you to this page, which is pretty cool. Um, but once you paste in this chunk, it'll automatically, right when you hit paste, it's just gonna run and then we'll show you what it looks like. So this takes a second, the loader's there. Um, I only did five. So I have these five and I made a fake one Rockstar Odyssey and I have Planes Odyssey. And one of the things with importing uh, when you're not using a TCG player ID is that it needs an exact match on the name. So Odyssey is Planes, but really has like Planes like three, four, five and Planes, whatever the number is. So we're going to run the import. So you first, it collects it, you start the import and it imported two and three failed. So the three failed show up down below and you can choose to remove or find and fix. So I'm gonna click find and fix and it's gonna run the search for me for planes and Odyssey. And notice I have planes and they have the parentheses of the number. So three, three, two. And I'll be like, oh, it was this one, cool. So it adds it to this ready and you notice ready to import is one. And then I have to find and fix the next one. Well, the next one is Rockstar, which I made up a word, it's not there. But say like I knew it was, I don't know, RO or something like that. And then I can search to see for RO. There's quite a few options here, but let's pretend like it was this uh, Corsian Beast. I click that, find and fix planes, and automatically does the search for you, and I select the planes I want. And then you can finish the importing, and that's the completion of the import. And you could choose to start over or open your inventory. Um, I'm going to start over and click the CSV import. So the CSV import, um, if now if you do a TCG player ID, it explains it here, it actually will match them perfectly. Um, so I'm gonna click the upload. I have this one with bad set names, but TCG player ID, and it's gonna match all those. And you'll notice that it, this process, it'll go a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and uh, update it here, see what happens. Uh, so this has 900 and, 37 things to import. I'm not going to run an import because I don't want to wreck my, uh, I use my inventory too in Echo and I was to clean it up as I build. But you can see it all here. It just made all these matches. And when the TCG player ID is included in the actual import, it's it just matches it perfectly. Um, if I did run importing, it would go one by one and let me know when ones were broken and then I would go fix the ones that were broken. So cool thing you can do here is, notice this is optional bulk. So Let's say I have 900 cards. Let's say I I spent $937 on them. Um, or I'm sorry, there is 196, 1196. So let's just say I spent that much. I spent a dollar per card. So what it would do is it's gonna enter each card at a dollar per card for you. It's nice because if you bought in bulk, you could say, you know, I spent, I don't know, $500 on these. Then each one will get entered as the acquired value of 42 cents by default. So that's a little bit of info on the import tool. We're continuing to update this, so it may change a little bit, but enjoy. Take care.